financial markets in turmoil. What are the root causes of the financial crisis? The dollar losing value. Heading for its biggest loss in nearly three decades. Will Social Security even be there? I don't know. Buy or rent? That's a very good question. Interest rates? I'm not so sure. Where do you put your money? I don't know. Welcome to the show that answers your questions. This is Follow the Money Weekly with your host, economist, and best selling author. Here's Jerry Robinson. Ah, friends, welcome to you all around the world. Welcome to Follow the Money Radio. So grateful to have you here along for the ride. We have another great episode here today. Today is episode number 401. You may recall on last on our last podcast episode, we which was number 400, we promised to give away one year of our gold membership, and that's going to happen. So stick around. It's just a minute away or so. And I want to say that today's episode, as you can see, is entitled Find Your Why. Find Your Why. You know, one of the most important components of long-term success in any endeavor, whether it's your health, whether it's your finances, whether it's relationships, whether it's your faith, you got to know your why, Right. Many of us know what we do. Many of us know how we do it. But precious few of us truly understand why we do what we do, right? So many of us go to a job that we don't really know why we go there. We we have a business, but maybe we get locked into that business and it becomes, you know, almost like a a prison sentence to us, right? I've met many business owners who feel locked into a difficult situation. Many people are investing, but they don't really know why. Maybe they're just trying to get more money. Maybe they're just trying to get rich, right? Are those good, valid reasons? I would say not. We need to have a firm foundation. We need to have a why as to why we are pursuing relationships, faith, money, health, whatever it might be. When we have the why on our side, then it's going to turbocharge our efforts, right? We're going to talk about that today, how important it is, not just to know the what's, not just to learn the rules and to learn all of the little details and the technical details, but to also have a why that undergirds why we do things. Why are we pursuing what we're pursuing? So powerful today. So we're going to be talking about that. And also later on today's program, we'll have a special member spotlight segment where I'll be speaking with a Follow the Money Platinum member who is also a best-selling author, radio show host, and investor. His name is Doug Fitzgerald, and you'll want to stick around to hear his inspiring story and to hear about his book. We're going to be doing more of these member spotlights. We have so many members who have accomplished so many things, and I want to bring them on. Uh, not only to our podcast here, but also on our live coaching calls that we do each and every Tuesday for our member community, just to really spotlight some of the amazing things that many of our members have achieved. So anyway, Doug Fitzgerald uh, coming up later on the uh, today's uh, episode. And before we get into the topic of today's episode, right, finding your why, we want to begin by announcing the winner of our latest giveaway. So you may recall, as I mentioned, we celebrated our last episode, number 400, with a contest in which listeners could enter to win one year of our gold membership. Man, this is filled with lots of great information. You have access to our crypto portfolio, all of our crypto uh, investing education, but not just crypto our stock trading system. You have access to our charting software. You have access to our nightly trading alerts, our daily email that we put out to all of our members with our latest insights. There's just a ton of information that comes with the gold membership. And this gold membership is valued at $499 a year. It's a $500 value. And we put this uh, contest out on the last episode and we got a crushing flood of entries. It was amazing. And so many of you, when you actually filled out the form, you would put, you know, a comment or two, so many great comments, so many, so much great feedback that helps us. So thank you for that. Thank you for sharing your thoughts and ideas. You just don't know how much it helps us to hear from you. Uh, you hear from us all the time, but to hear from you is just so wonderful. We, in fact, we love giving back to our podcast community, and this is just one of the ways that we like to say thank you to our audience. So without further delay, let's announce the winner of our latest giveaway. And Jennifer, my wife and co-founder here at Follow the Money, is here to announce the winner. Thanks, Jerry. Isn't he a sweet husband? He lets me come on and handle all the fun stuff, so this is great. <laughs> All right, so we're going to draw, and the winner of the one-year gold membership is, drum roll please, Brandy C. from Miramar, Florida. Congratulations, Brandy. That's so exciting, and we're so excited for you. I'll be emailing you personally to congratulate you, and we'll give you all the details 
on uh, how to access your new one-year gold membership. That is awesome. Thank you, Jennifer, for that. And congratulations, Brandy, and welcome aboard as our latest Follow the Money member. It's wonderful to have you. And again, Jennifer will be emailing you all the details about that. So congratulations to you. If you didn't win this time, that's okay. For many of you who did enter and you're not a winner today, it's all right. You're still a winner in my eyes. And you can also know that we do have great discounts going on right now on all of our memberships. In fact, we have a 10% off for life promotion right now. Whenever you go to the checkout, you can enter in Save 10 Fall, uh, and that will get you 10% off. Plus, I've heard we have some really amazing Black Friday sales coming up So and Cyber Monday uh, sales, so that's going to be exciting as well. So all of that. So again, congratulations, Brandy. Welcome aboard. And to all of you who did not win this time, thank you for entering. And stay tuned. We are constantly doing giveaways uh, of different various things. Sometimes we do crypto. Sometimes we like to give away gold or silver. Other times we like to give away memberships here. All right. So as we stated uh, today, we're talking about finding your why. That is, we need to find our why and we need to start with our why, right? So let's get into this because I want to bring on Doug Fitzgerald. He's the author of One Shot, One Life, the ultimate success formula to help you win at anything in life. And there's many people in our audience who are committed to achieving success, right? Undoubtedly, I hear from you all the time. I hear I get emails from you. Our members contact us constantly with you know ideas and the things that they're doing. I know many of you are seeking to achieve success in a certain area of life. You may be focused on building an investment portfolio. You may be attempting to learn a new skill like trading or earning online income, or you may be starting a new business or maybe even a new career. A lot of career changes going on today. You may be taking a dive into real estate investing, right? Or maybe you're trying to figure out the complex and ever-changing world of digital assets and cryptocurrency. It's not just financial goals, though, that many of us are reaching for. So, too, many of us are seeking to succeed in relationships, right? Maybe we're trying to improve our health. We have health goals. We may have faith goals, things that we're trying to achieve in our, in our walk with God. You know, to succeed at any of the goals that are in front of us, it requires a burning commitment to pursuing and achieving that goal, right? And one thing that I've learned over the years is that it's not the quality of your goal that will guarantee its outcome. Instead, it's the passion that you have for your goal that will determine your success. For me, you know, my own awakening occurred whenever I was about 25 years old. It was then that I began to ask myself, why am I here? You know, what am I doing? Why do I have the interests that I have? And what do I, what topics do I want to master in my lifetime, right? You can really master a topic in your lifetime. You can master maybe even two topics in your lifetime. And it was then that I began to determine the dominant focus of my studies. And that was really the cross-section of finances and faith, right? This was really the area that I felt just greatly called to. And, uh, you know, that commitment requires a constant and steady focus on your goals. And your focus is like the rudder on a ship. Just as you can control the direction of a ship with its rudder, so, too, if you want to control your behavior and move in the direction of your goals, you have to control your focus. You see, your focus is what determines your behavior because your focus also determines your desires. What you see determines what you desire. And, of course, whatever you focus on becomes bigger. Right? We've all heard this. This is why your goals determine your energy level. I've talked about this so many times. It's so important. It's the commitment to your goals that will unleash your energy. Sometimes the ultimate remedy for a tired and weary soul is simply found in what is being focused on. Your focus will determine your feelings. My point here is that if you want things to change in your life, if you're trying to spark a change, if you're trying to pursue a goal, or if you're in the middle of going after something, then you must change, right? And all real change begins where? It begins in your mind. It's only after you change your thoughts that you can then change your attitude. And then that will provide you with the needed motivation to change your actions. So your current success right now that you have is equal to the sum total of your daily actions, right? You are a product of your routine. And actions all manifest themselves from our thoughts and attitudes, which first occur in the mind. And so committing to a course of action is much easier when we know our why, right? As I said at the very outset, many of us know what we do. Many of us know how we do what we do. 
but very few of us truly understand why we do what we do. No matter what your goals are in life, until you discover your purpose for wanting to achieve those goals, you're going to struggle. Knowing your purpose or your why is what will guide and motivate you to achieve your goals. In other words, you have to ask yourself, why am I trying to build an investment portfolio? Why am I trying to lose weight? Right? Why am I trying to learn how to trade? Why am I trying to create an online business? Right? Why? Why? And this really changed my own life whenever I began to view it this way. And because the reason why this is so important, you may say, well, what's the, what's the deal about why? I mean, just go out and make it happen, right? Well, if you don't have your why at the center, then you're liable to get your priorities out of order, right? You can begin to chase money just for the sake of money. And money won't make you happy. And you could even burn relationships in the process of chasing after money. Or maybe you're chasing after some other goal, some work goal, some career goal, maybe even some health goal. Or some other, you know, just think about many different types of goals you could have. And oftentimes when you get really locked in on chasing that particular goal, you can begin to get your priorities out of whack. Even though you're doing right by pursuing that goal, if your why is not proper, then you may actually be hurting people around you, right? So, um, you know, I, I really think it's important to develop a why statement. You know, why are you doing what you're doing? Well, I'll tell you mine. So I started followthemoney.com, you know, over 10 years ago. Uh, started at, at a, a kitchen table as I was thinking to myself, I want to help people. I really do. I want to help people understand finances. I want to help them become a better steward of what they've been given. I want to encourage them and help them see that they can break, break free financially. We created our five levels of financial freedom to help you. It, it's completely free. We created, again, 400 plus podcasts now that have been designed to educate and equip and empower you to achieve you know, the things that you want to achieve, to be a better steward, to be wise with your finances, right? And to find new ideas and spot new opportunities, right? These, and also to understand why the world is the way that it is, right? So we've done so many topics on this and it's all been to educate you and to help you and to equip you. This is my why. Now, you listening to me right now, you are a major part of my why. I think about you whenever I'm creating these podcasts. I think about our members whenever I'm crafting member resources. And it, it gets me going. There's no shortcut to success, friends. There's no shortcut. It, it's hard. It takes perseverance. It takes persistence. But that persistence and perseverance is very difficult without a why. Without why you're doing what you're doing. It's easy to get caught up in what you're doing and forget why you're doing it. And when the journey gets tough, because it does, right? Whenever I first started, you know, my businesses, I started my very first business when I was very young. I was a teenager. It failed. I have fallen on my face so many times. It would make you laugh if you didn't cry, right? I've made the same mistakes that perhaps many of you have made. My initial success as an entrepreneur was hardly any different, right? First two companies I started failed miserably. But when the journey got tough, recalling the why re-energizes you to keep moving in the right direction. The old football coach Vince Lombardi said, most people fail not because of lack of desire, but because of lack of commitment. And oftentimes that commitment is lacking because they don't know why they're doing what they're doing. So finding your why. Uh, in, in his book, Find Your Why, uh, author Simon Sinek provides a simple formula for creating your own personal why statement. So before I bring on Doug Fitzgerald, let me just leave you with this. Simple formula to create your why statement. You put simply, the formula looks like this. You would just write down on a piece of paper, my why is to blank, so that blank, right? To blank, so that blank. You know, in other words, Cy uh, Cynic's own why statement he shares is to, and then the blank is to inspire people to do things that inspire them, so that, and then the next blank is, together we can change our world, right? So Simon Sinek, who wrote the book, Find Your Why, his why statement is to inspire people to do things that inspire them so that together we can change our world. Here's another example. At followthemoney.com, our why statement is to educate, equip, and empower individuals so that they can achieve lasting financial and spiritual liberty. So now it's your turn. Take a moment and write out your own personal why statement. What is it? What are you trying to do? To blank, so that blank. Right? Sometimes your why statement may not exactly turn out the way you would 
wish the first time. That's okay. Just try it again. Keep writing your why statement as many times as necessary until you get it right. Once you develop that why statement, keep it close by. Keep it on a sticky note right next to your computer. Keep it on the fridge. Keep it on the bathroom mirror. Remember why you're doing what you're doing. And once you do it, congratulate yourself because very few people have ever taken this important self-development step. Memorize it, right? Commit this why statement to memory and meditate on it often and be ready to share it with others. And like I said, just keep it written down. Keep it next to your computer or you know your bathroom mirror. Seeing your why statement regularly, will you'll always remember why you're doing what you're doing. So powerful and so important. All right, with all that said, I want to bring on Platinum member and author and speaker, Doug Fitzgerald. He's here to talk about his book, One Shot, One Life, right on the other side of this break. Hold tight. And follow the money returns after this. Hey friends, this is Jerry Robinson from Follow the Money Weekly. Recently, we have been receiving many emails from our listeners commenting on the great help they're getting from our precious metals expert, Tom Cloud. Gold and silver are excellent hedges against the growing threat of coming U.S. inflation. Who's your gold guy? Make it Tom Cloud. With over 30 years' experience with precious metals, Tom will answer all of your questions. Don't buy your gold and silver through some call center and pay inflated prices. Call my good friend Tom Cloud and speak directly with him and get all of your questions answered. For a limited time, Tom is offering free shipping and insurance on every gold and silver purchase made by our listeners. Call 800 247 2812. And when you do, tell him that Jerry Robinson from Follow the Money Weekly sent you. And he'll throw in that free shipping and insurance on your entire order. Call your gold guy, Tom Cloud, right now for the very best deals on gold and silver coins. 800-247-2812. That is 800-247-2812. Are you prepared for the next stock market crash? It's not too late to protect yourself and your family with Jerry Robinson's best-selling book, Bankruptcy of Our Nation. Now in a new audiobook format. Whether you want to listen in the car, at the gym, or on your iPad, we've got you covered. Get the entire 300-page book in audio format for only $24.95. That's over 12 hours of Jerry Robinson's economic wisdom, financial insights, and practical money-making strategies for only $24.95. Inside this new audiobook, you'll learn 21 profitable income streams you can create both now and in retirement along with unique tips on how to inflation-proof your investment portfolio using our own PACE philosophy and our five levels of financial freedom, which is Jerry Robinson's personal blueprint for building true wealth. If your goal is to become a better investor, increase your income, or just understand what is really happening in the global economy, you cannot afford to miss out on the vital information that is jam-packed into this 12-hour audio book. Get instant access to Bankruptcy of Our Nation in audio format right now by going online to www.ftmdaily.com slash bankruptcy. That's ftmdaily.com slash bankruptcy. Download your copy today and get on the fast track to true wealth and a lifetime of financial security. All right, joining me on the line today is a best-selling author, a CEO, a motivational life coach, and also a platinum member here at followthemoney.com. His name is Doug Fitzgerald. Doug, it's great to have you on the podcast this week. Thanks for joining us. Jerry, it's great to be here. It's an honor to be on, and thank you for all you do. You're such a blessing to so many people, and you've impacted my life in tremendous ways, so thank you for all that you do. Appreciate it. Thank you so much for that. I, I love to hear that, and you know, whenever I first learned that you had written a book, Doug, and I knew you were a platinum member here, I wanted to reach out to you. I asked you about the book. I've had a chance to read the book, and the title of the book, by the way, for those who are listening is called One Shot, One Life, The Ultimate Success Formula to Help You Win at Anything in Life. It's a very brief read. I was able to read this in about an hour. And I really want to get into this book with you because I know there's so many people 
in our audience who are seeking to move forward, whether it's trying to learn a new skill, whether it's trading, whether it's something that they're trying to build an investment portfolio, maybe they're new at cryptocurrencies or new at commodities, maybe they're trying to invest in real estate. Doug, they might even be trying to start a business, you know, as you have done. Right. So you really have an inspiring book here, and I want to get into much of what this is all about. Uh, before we do, you know, I got to say, we're thrilled to have you as a platinum member of followthemoney.com. So would you, before we talk about your inspirational book, I want to get into this, but share with us, Doug, how you came to be a member here of our community at followthemoney.com. What's your favorite part of being a member here? Well, I, I believe I was, um, it's probably been, I would say five or six or seven years ago when I uh, ran across your podcast. And I just loved your position on finances and investment. Finances are really important to me. It's something that's a passion for me is helping people really identify um, how do they handle their money in the best way possible so that they can benefit them and their families. So it doesn't become a burden to them, but it becomes a blessing. And so as I was researching, doing some work on uh, some groups that I was working with, as I was counseling people in the area of finance, I had run across your podcast. And so that was where I began, and then I started looking at different ways also to invest. And we had talked earlier, I've got, I do a lot of stuff, I'm an A-type personality, so I want to make sure that um, if I'm following something, it's a proven system or a proven plan. So I really dug into your system, loved um, just the concepts of earning extra income, side income, um, multiple streams of income, and then once you have that income, and you've got your budgeting under control and how to spend it and savings, then how do you make that money work for you? And so um, becoming a platinum member obviously has been just really important to me over the last year or so. And one of the reasons why I really decided to pull the trigger for the platinum was I love how specific you get in identifying all different aspects of investment, not just narrowing out one. I believe that there are opportunities all the time all around us, and we have to be aware of those, and you really do a great job, and you and your team do a great job of helping us identify different various types of investments, what are the great you know, investments maybe to look at to invest in today, and then maybe you know, in a month or two or three, there might be different areas within stocks or bonds or cryptocurrencies or business investments, that type of thing that um, can be beneficial. So. I chose to really start digging into your um, system. It's been a huge blessing. One area that's been really good, by the way, is my son came to me, oh, about, about a year ago, and he was asking about cryptocurrencies. And I had been studying cryptocurrencies for about a year and a half prior to that, hadn't pulled the trigger till last September in 2020. Mm -hmm. And when he came to me, I said, Dylan, like anything else I do, let's research it. Let's not just jump into it. And so we walked step by step through your teachings with cryptocurrencies and other resources that we had available, uh, got a good handle on what we felt was a good way to invest, which I really love the way that you present it. And then we started dipping our toe in the water and um, you know, we've doubled our money uh, just with cryptocurrency investments alone. And so, you know, follow the money, your investment system and plan has just been, like I said, a huge blessing in our lives and we can't thank you enough for it. That's so awesome. I love to hear that. And yeah, if you got it in September of 2020, you really got in just just as it was getting good. I mean, it really has taken we off did. in 2021. I mean, it's been... We did. Which cryptos do you like right now? Which ones are you focused on? Well, um, you know, like with my son, I told him, I said, you know, um, make sure this is money that you can lose as we start learning. Yes. This. So we have a base, base portfolio of our cryptos. Like we like Bitcoin. We have Ethereum, Cardano. One of our favorites and one that I really got involved with my first purchase was uh, with a cryptocurrency called Theta. And I researched it. And the one thing I like like about what you present and other uh, people that we've learned from is don't just jump into a cryptocurrency because you think it's going to make you a lot of money. I believe that, you know, if you're going to jump into a cryptocurrency, it has to have some kind of use value behind it. And so that's why we really looked at the, the cryptos that we hold. We've got a good portfolio. I think I've got like eight or nine different cryptos that I have. Um, I've been dollar cost averaging into some of them. Uh, other ones I've really staked a little bit more because I feel more comfortable because I understand what their purpose is and how it can benefit society and then in turn uh, develop and create income not only for the company but also for the people who own the cryptos. So um, yeah, it's been fun. That's important. And we refer to them just as you did. We refer to them as crypto projects. I mean, cryptocurrencies can be a yeah. bit deceiving because is there really yes. a demand for that currency? So what's the project about? So yeah, that's really, really important. Uh, are you staking your some of your cryptos as well, the ones that are proof of stake? I do. We have Tezo. I have Tezo staked. I believe Ethereum earning, earning us some money. Um, obviously, Theta staked because it earns T fuel. 
Right. Uh, yeah. So we've uh, and learning some and earning some great interest from that. You know, it's and, incredible. Uh, from the stake tokens that come back to us. It's that's yeah, amazing. It is. And you can't earn, you can't earn anything like that by putting your money in the bank. Oh my goodness. That's or right. Money markets are just holding it. At least you have the FDIC with the bank, right? But of course, you don't have it with crypto. Right. But it is a risk, and if you're willing to risk, then you know, gosh, you can get a reward. Exactly. Exactly. You're listening to the voice of Doug Fitzgerald. He is an author. He is a business owner, he's a coach, and he's also a platinum member here at followthemoney.com. We've been talking about how he came into our community. We're grateful to have him here. You know, I instantly loved your book. I love the book because I love the title. I mean, I even knew, I usually don't <laughs> judge a book by its title. When I saw that title, I thought, this is going to be good. I mean, this is going to have some really important material in it. What does that title mean to you? What does it mean when you wrote One Shot, One Life? What does that mean? Wow. Um, I appreciate you asking this, and we didn't talk about this before, so... Um, the title is very important to me. I was, let's see, it was back in 2014, 15, I hired a business coach to say, what do I want to do with the rest of my life? What are the steps I want to take to help not only serve my family, but those around me? And so we walked through, you know, various different, um, you know, um, uh, just systems that she had created to help, help me identify what I wanted to do. And so in that process, she asked me this question. And my life has always been about helping people, serving people. One of my friends says I push people over the edge of the cliff. In other words, helping them take a, a, a step of courage of faith to actually live out the one life that they've been given to the best ability um, that they have. And so uh, anyway, so my business coach told me, uh, you know, I want you to ask some of your dear friends this question. What do you worry about that keeps you up at night? So we can really start identifying what are things that people worry about that then I can go ahead and then help them with with the system that we were creating. And I asked 92 good friends and colleagues this question. And so they got back to me with real, honest, transparent answers. And we took that information and we compiled it into the top six areas that people worry about. And those areas are in the area of money, people, faith, work and career, health, and then their overall hopes and dreams. And with that information, then my business coach said, all right, you've been teaching and working with people pretty much your whole life helping people um, with a system to help them become better uh, in different areas of their lives. Now we know the areas that we can focus upon. I want you to create a PDF opt-in. Now, for those of you who may not know, we were creating a website, and an opt-in is basically, you know, some type of resource, usually one, two, three, four, five pages of something that you can add value to the to the person who wants to opt-in. They give you their name and their email address. And so she told me to write a two-page opt-in, and I started writing, and I said, uh, her name was Joy, and I said, Joy, it's not a two-page opt-in, it's a book. And she goes, well, Doug, write the book. And I'm right. like, I've never written a book before. <laughs> and so anyway... So I started seeking out writing this book and including um, what I call the ultimate success formula, which are five principles that I've been teaching to people for decades now to help them in, the, in different areas of their life to be successful. So as I was writing this book and I was writing it in our lake house, I would spend time usually at night writing that book. Well, I had a buddy of mine. His name is Brian Olson getting to the title of the book here. His name was Brian Olson. He used to be a um, former member of a band called the Newsboys back in their heyday. Oh, so sure. he would travel around the world. Remember Brian? And yeah, Newsboys were great. So Brian has his own band called Foda. And so he had his producer from Nashville, Tennessee, coming into where we live in Lincoln, Nebraska. He had asked if he could use our lake house to record his next album. Well, in the process of recording that album, he's, they, I think they spent about a week recording it. And then as they would start uh, developing the songs, he would send me the demos of these songs. And I was writing late one night. It was about 11 o'clock at night. And I heard this song called One Shot, One Life. And I'm like, oh, my goodness. Like, that encapsulates everything that I'm writing about. And so I asked Brian. I said, hey, you know, I'm going to use this name for the book. Can we use the song? And he's like, yeah. He's like, Absolutely. So it's our theme song. It's nice. a theme song that we lead into our radio program that we have and our podcast. And uh, we used it for the name of the book. And then he also uh, makes it available for anybody who wants to download it. You just go to oneshotonelife.com. And actually, the theme song ended up being our opt-in for our website. How about not that? Not the, you know, not the ultimate success formula. So that's kind of a little story behind the book and how we got to it. So, or the name of the book. In the very beginning of the book, introduction, you have something called the wake-up call. This is the title of the introduction. Mm. And here, you uh, you share some events of a particular evening in your life many years ago. Yeah. That serves as the yeah. inspiration for this book. Can you share your story of how this book came to be in that respect? Absolutely. Um, you know, I've, I've I've been very blessed in my life, and my folks were parents who raised me to dream. And if you have that dream, then go for it. And they would always support us in that process. And 
So my life has always been about these dreams that I believe God had planted in my heart, and I would just go for them. And we're able to be very successful. I was uh, in radio, uh, successful in a radio career early on. That's what I, I always joke with my kids that Ryan Seacrest has my job, because that's really what I mapped out years ago that I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. Uh, But then God had other plans. He brought us into ministry. I was a pastor for over 13 years. Mm -hmm. And then um, from that, he uh, brought us into business. We've been in the business for about 16, 17 years now. We've got four different businesses that we run. Wow. But during the process of developing one of our main businesses, we were at the height of our success. I was busting it. I was, I had goals that I would meet every month. And during that process, I began to lose sight of what was important in my life. It was a relationship with my wife, Tammy. We've been married for over 30 years now. And, and by the way, it's uh, our relationships, it's, it's the best we've ever been. But That's I awesome. open up the book. Yeah, the, but I open up the book with the worst night we ever had. We had gotten to a point where I had lost sight of, of our relationship. I was more focused on the business than growing our relationship. We had two little kiddos at the time. Hmm. Our relationship was strained. You know, we would get in arguments and, and uh, fights and nothing ever seemed to be going right. And uh, late one night, is about 2 a.m., uh, we had one of those fights where our kids were asleep upstairs, and we were downstairs, and we were, like, yelling every fifth or fourth word at each other. You know, mm-hmm. we're trying to keep it under our breath, but we were so frustrated. And um, I got so upset that I just needed to just leave and cool off. I had reached my limit, and I didn't want to damage our relationship anymore. And so I stormed out of the house. And at the time, we were living in a home. And if you took a walk on the sidewalk, it was literally a two-mile square walk that went around a city park, our city high school, and our city football stadium. And I was, you know, if you'd have seen me that night, you'd be like, man, Doug's gone crazy. What's he doing? (laughs) At 2 a.m. in the morning, he's kind of talking to himself, flaring his arms. Well, I got about halfway down the path. There was the football stadium on the right. There was nothing on the left. And I thought, you know what? I can just scream and let God hear it all. So I just screamed at God and said, why are you doing this to me? Because I was so frustrated. And we had had great success up to that point. And it was almost like we just hit, uh, you know, a dead end with our relationship. And it was like he instantly, like, put me literally on the 50 yard line of that football field. And it felt like, you know, you could hear the thump, thump, thump of the stadium lights come on and God's voice just coming into my heart saying, Doug, I didn't do this to you. You did this to you. And at that moment, what I realized was I got the priorities in my life, the things that were ultimately the most important, totally out of whack. And I sprinted home that night and apologized to Tammy and said, we're going to work on our relationship and make, I am going to do all I can um, to allow God to work in me to make it the top priority in our lives. And so that's what we began the process of working on. So I open up the book um, because I think we all, at some point, um, we get our priorities out of whack and we find ourselves in a place a lot of times, especially as men, where we take it so far that we end up damaging the most important people in our lives. And a lot of times we can't come back from that whether it's divorce or whether it's strained relationship with our kids or our parents or whatever it might be. And so I begin the, uh, begin the book with that story because I want people to understand. And what we say at one shot, one life is we want to help people stop worrying about the things of life. And we want them to start winning at the important things. And um, so we start the the book out to really just kind of hopefully open up the reader's heart to say, you know what, I've been there. We've all been there. And let's just take life, this one life we've been given, this beautiful life that we've been given, um, let's really take it serious. Let's evaluate. And we all have to reevaluate things periodically through our life. I think that's an important principle that I teach um, so that we can begin the process really looking at what's important. And then if we decide what's important, then is it worth it to pursue? And so we can get into the principles of the ultimate success formula and talk about how that works. But That's why we opened up the book Uh, with that. The second chapter, I talk about um, the foundation of what's important. I believe, Jerry, that, you know, if you're going to set a priority that you're going to go after wholeheartedly uh, in your life, that it should be uh, always lead back to the foundation of what's important. And I believe God tells us what's important is that it's loving him and loving other people. And if we choose to pursue a priority in our life that pulls us away from those two vital things, those two vital relationships, then I ask people to step back and say, is it worth pursuing? Because I don't want to get at the end of my life. And I know the people I work with don't want to get to the end of their life and realize that they went down a path that, that ended up leading them to a dead end and costing them the most important things, those key relationships in our lives, those relationships with 
the, the family members, the friends around us, and ultimately our relationship with God. And that kind of lays then the foundation for what we talk about then going into our five principles. Really powerful stuff here uh, that you're saying, because it can connect with so many people. Doug, there are people listening to us today who have money problems. They're worried about their bills. Yeah. They're worried about the yep. debt. You know, they're worried about, yep. are they going to have enough for retirement? They're worried about their relationships. Yep. They're worried. Many of them are worried about their faith. They feel there's a crisis in the faith here in America. They're, they're worried about where the church is going. They're, they're worried about their job. They're worried about their health. You know, there's just so many different concerns. And in your book, you know, you're really yep. addressing these and talking about setting those real clear priorities. And it's so easy to fall into worry in, the, in these topics. But also, and I hear this so often, Doug, from the people that I coach here at Follow the Money, many of our folks, so many of them desire to know how to balance it all. You know, how do you, yeah. how, how do you keep it all in balance? H having those clear priorities are certainly key to it, you know, because it's such a fine right. line. And I think your book speaks to this, you know, it speaks to that, uh, certainly with your five principles and also for the three critical areas of our needs, our shoulds and our wants, how we often, <laughs> we get yeah. so confused sometimes. Yeah. So in the book, I lay out what we call the ultimate success formula. It's five powerful principles to help you win at anything in life. These are principles that I've found throughout my life and through the people I've worked with um, who have found success in their life that have been proven to work. I've been very fortunate to have so many different mentors in my life who, who, have, who have just walked alongside me and encouraged me. And like you said, you know, we, you talk about worry and the things that we worry about. I start out the book by identifying what people do worry about because here's the thing. If you're worrying about something, uh, we identify two things. There are things that you worry about that you have no control over, right? I have no control over my kids are in their 20s now. Um, if they're going to be safe throughout the day, or I have no control over um, some of the decisions that they make for themselves. I have no control over if we're going to get some kind of uh, illness that uh, can be, you know, that could end our lives. There are things we have no control over, and those are things where you, I believe you need to seek the help of a good counselor, seek the help and, and, and advice of, of God and where he directs to, to really deal with those type of worries. But on the flip side of that, there are worries that we have that we have absolute control over. And that's where people need to identify and look in their lives to say, what are the things that I truly am worrying about that make me sick to my stomach, that cause me to, to, you know, to, to be frustrated or get anxious or lose sleep? Let's look at those things. And if there are worries that we can, that we can deal with, um, then we can eliminate those worries. It's very simple, but you have to have a proven system to do that. So that's called the ultimate success formula. The first principle is what you identified was we teach people to set clear priorities. And the difference between a goal and priority, people always talk about goals. And goals are good um, if you have the right mindset with them. But a lot of times people associate goals with like New Year's resolutions. They can leave, you know, leave them or take them. You know, they just, they're there. But a priority, if you look at the definition, is something that is more important than any other thing that needs to be done or dealt with first. Look it up in the dictionary. So we identify priorities of things that need to be taken care of that will really help our lives and those around us and will hurt our lives and those around us. And one of the things that we teach people to do in identifying and setting clear priorities is going through a process of identifying what do you need, should, and want in those areas. So we have people go through each area, money, people, faith, work, health, and your hopes and dreams, and just spill it all. Spend time writing out everything. And we have to help them identify what do you need in the area, you know, let's say, for instance, in the area of money. What do you need? Uh, what are things that you should have done in the area of money? And what are the things you want to do? Uh, the area of need is something like this. Um, if you're getting a third notice to pay your electric bill and you haven't paid it yet, you probably need to take care of that bill. It should be a priority, right? That's something you need to take care of. A lot of times then we look at the other area. So what are the areas of needs that you want to take, that you need to take care of? Write those down. Then we look at the area of shoulds. What are the things that you always tell you, know, I really should do this? Uh, for instance, an ex a good example of this is maybe you have your first child and you're like, you know what, I really start, should start saving money for their college education if I want to pay for that. And then they get to become into grade school. And you're like, you know what, they're growing up so fast, I really should start saving money for retirement. You never ever, or for uh, college, you never ever do it. You never ever get to it. Next thing you know, they're graduating from high school and you never took that step. Of, of you know setting aside money to help pay for college it becomes that should all of a sudden becomes a need down the road so a lot of times our shoulds if we just identify those in our lives 
um, write those all down. If we don't take care of them, we'll eventually become a need. Then we finally get to what we call wants. And I think a lot of times, and Jerry, you touched upon this, a lot of times people think maybe money can get in the way or it can be an evil thing. Money is simply a tool, and it could be a tool to do great things in people's lives. And so I tell people to dream. In the area of money, what do you ultimately want to dream about having? Maybe it's a retirement. Maybe it's uh, the ability to give more than you make right now to organizations that really can help people. Maybe you want to give to your local church in a way that uh, can really have an impact. Um, maybe you want to teach and, and, and really work with your kids like I am now. They're in their 20s, helping them with their finances step by step. So what are those? And then once, once we help people identify needs, shoulds, and wants in those areas, we help them identify the very top ones that they can start taking advantage of and working on immediately. We usually like to help people identify at least one or two in those areas. Um, so that kind of goes you, you know, kind of gives you a good idea of what we do when we talk about setting clear priorities and how to set those. Obviously, we go more in depth in the book, but um, that's kind of a good basis of how to start. Yeah. Folks, if you're listening, you can pick up a copy of Doug's book. It's entitled One Shot, One Life. Doug, where's the best place to go to get the copy of the book here? Anywhere fine books are sold. <laughs> Amazon.com is probably the easiest way for people to get it, but Barnes & Noble, uh, Books A Million, uh, where you can, wherever you can find books, it's available. Whenever individuals like you who have succeeded and they have been through those trials. They've been through those flames. And you're, it's still a process, Doug. I mean, we're all still, always, always. you know, we're always learning. Every single day, Doug, I'm learning something new. You know, even though I've been through so many trials and I've been through so many different things, it's every day, you know, you learn something new. And yep. I would be curious, in your own personal story in this book, you share so much of it. What part of the five principles did you have the hardest time writing or the hardest time implementing in your own life what part was a struggle for you what areas were a struggle for you as you applied this in your own life sure um, so the five principles are this the first one we talk about is setting clear priorities the second one is then finding a proven plan so once you have a priority you want to achieve you want to find a proven plan to achieve that um, and we talk about a proven plan one that either you know works or that someone else has implemented so that's the second principle. The third principle is mastering persistence. And this, is Jerry, is probably the hardest one, I think, for most people, and I know for myself as well. Uh, and let me share a quick story about this. Uh, my wife and I, when we were starting out this business that became so successful initially um, about 16, 17 years ago, uh, we were uh, on a trip to Vegas uh, meeting with some of the top leaders uh, in this company, and it was really starting to take and I was a pastor at the time, and I knew that we had some decisions to make. Am I going to retire from being a pastor and do this full time? Uh, that was kind of the decision we were making. That was a that was a big decision for my wife and I because being a pastor was just all inclusive uh, for us and our family. And it was it was a big decision that we knew we were at the process of making a decision on. We had uh, counsel from great people in our lives during that time. But we went out to dinner that night. It was. Um, it was our anniversary weekend. We went out to a nice Italian dinner in the Wynn Hotel. And this is what was strange about it, Jerry. There was only one other couple in that restaurant. Now, if you've been to Vegas before, it's packed all the time. Oh, sure. We believe God set that up. So we sat down, and a server, his name was Luke. He was uh, from China. He was a gentleman probably in his, I would say, 60s at the time. And we just started building up a conversation. He was asking us why we were in Vegas. We were telling about our kind of the success of our business and the dilemma of making a decision. He went over to his wait station. He grabbed a receipt, and I've got it framed in my office here, and he brought it back, and he wrote his name on it at the top of it, and uh, he wrote a symbol. I later come to find out it was it's called the Ren, R-E-N symbol in Chinese. He wrote um, uh, the word knife, the word heart, and then the word endurance. And then he proceeded to tell us this, Jerry. He said, you know, listen, he said, I've got a good – sense of what you're going through. I just wanted to share with you, Doug and Tammy, this, this uh, important symbol from my culture. He said, um, this represents the knife over the heart. And anytime you go to pursue that something vitally important in your life, um, you need to give it uh, all you've got. You need to endure through the process. But he said, during that process, you're going to have struggles. And he said, those who succeed are the ones who are willing to make it through the struggles in life. And so he wrote that word endurance. And he said, if you guys endure, you're going to be successful with your business. And it doesn't matter where you're at in your life. Um, you know, whatever you're trying to pursue, you're going to have struggles. Like that story I told you about with, with Tammy and I, the worst relationship in our life. I always tell people, if you can make it through the deep, deep, dark valleys of your life in a healthy way and come out on the other side, 
the highs are always so much higher. And um, the reason why that story is important to me is it really drove home in my heart um, the importance of being persistent in carrying out the vital priorities in my life. And so Luke did that for us. Um, it's, it's a story I tell in the book that you can read about. And then we go on to close out the, um, um, the book with the last two principles, which we call the multipliers. Um, the fourth principle is the extraordinary benefits of evaluation. And then the fifth one, which I believe is the most important chapter in the book, um, is the remarkable power of having a success partner, somebody alongside you that's willing there to cheer you on, knowing what you're trying to achieve, pick you up when you fall, um, celebrate your successes with you and, and that person who really knows what you're trying to get done in life and is willing to hold you accountable to actually completing the task of getting that done. Uh, but for me, probably the most difficult would be mastering persistence, staying consistent and achieving what I know is important. That's so powerful. We've been talking with Doug Fitzgerald. He is a platinum member here at followthemoney.com. He's also a successful author and business owner and coach. Doug, where can folks find you online if they want to learn more about you and your work? Sure. They can go to oneshotonelife.com, and there we have uh, access to our radio show, which um, actually is brand new over the last several months. Uh, our book is there. We do one-on-one -on -one coaching. I do mastermind groups that we lead people across the country in um, and working with people individually. I also speak around the country as well, so if you want more information, go to oneshotonelife.com, and uh, you can find it there. Duh. Plus, you can download the cool theme, theme song. Right there on the website. Awesome. I've heard it. and it's Right there on the website. And it's good. Well, it's an honor to speak with you, Doug. Again, a Follow the Money Platinum member here who has succeeded in many ways. And it's just wonderful to hear from you and to hear about your book. Folks, go check it out. OneShotOneLife.com. Doug Fitzgerald, the author. Thank you so much, Doug, for joining us. Thanks so much, Jerry. God bless you, my friend. You too. Thank you. Hi friends, it's Jerry Robinson here from Follow the Money Radio. Do you wanna learn how to trade options? Are you intimidated by options trading but still have a desire to learn how it all works? If so, you will be pleased to know that our options trading course is now on sale in our online store for only $37, but for a very limited time. When you purchase this five hour online video course, you will learn how to leverage the power of options to generate a steady stream of income from the markets while minimizing risk. This course, which is deeply discounted for a limited time, provides you with eight full-length video lessons with me that will walk you step-by-step -step on how to get started in the world of trading options. This video course begins with a comprehensive introduction to key options trading concepts, including calls and puts, premiums, volatility, along with an introduction to option Greeks and how to properly value an option before you make a trade. But this video course not only introduces you to the basic concepts of options trading, it also provides you with three proven option trading strategies, including how to rent out the stocks that you already own to others to generate a passive income by selling covered call options. We'll also teach you a smart way to buy call options for profits, and our students have told us that the secrets revealed in this video alone are worth the price of the entire options trading course. You'll also learn a unique options trading strategy where you can get paid while you wait to buy your favorite stock. This is an advanced trading strategy that is one of our favorites among our top trading students. So this options trading course contains a tremendous amount of knowledge jam-packed into five full hours of video presentations that you will want to watch over and over again as you begin or continue your trading journey. If your goal is to learn how to make money with options, this is a must-have education video series. And you can unlock this entire video course right now by simply going to followthemoney.com forward slash shop. There you'll find our online store and simply look for the options trading course. This is a special introductory price and it is a limited time offer. So act now. Go to followthemoney.com forward slash shop and take advantage of our deeply discounted options trading course today. All right, friends, welcome back to the final moments here at Follow the Money Radio. We are in our final moments of today's episode. And today we've been talking about the importance of finding your why. And you heard from Doug Fitzgerald in his book, One Shot, One Life, how you know, success can be achieved, but we have to overcome adversity along the way. We've been talking about that. We've been talking about how important it is to seize the day and to live life to its very fullest. 
in the way that it was intended to be lived on today's episode. But one of the greatest enemies to our leading a full life is fear. And fear is the opposite of faith. Fear serves as a debilitating force in our minds and souls. And perhaps worst of all, fear causes us to lose sight of what is important. It was St. Thomas Aquinas who made this profound observation about fear when he wrote, fear is such a powerful emotion for humans that when we allow it to take us over, it drives compassion right out of our hearts. And that's just something to think about. Remember friends, when you want the truth about the global economy, just follow the money. Have a safe and prosperous week and we'll see you right back here next time. Until then, God bless. the information contained on the follow the money podcast is strictly for informational and educational purposes it should not be construed as specific investment advice the views and opinions of our guests and sponsors including tom cloud are their own and do not necessarily represent the views of ftmdaily.com or robinson media group llc jerry robinson does hold an insurance license and at times may offer consulting on life insurance and fixed retirement income products follow-up individualized responses to email or phone requests that involve the rendering of personalized investment advice for compensation will not be made absent compliance with state investment advisor registration requirements or an applicable exemption or exclusion and applicable insurance regulations past performance is not indicative of future results you should be aware of the real risk of loss in following any strategy or investment discussion discussed on the podcast. Remember, never do your financial planning through podcast or radio. It's your money. Be wise. Do your due diligence and always consult a trusted financial professional before making any financial decisions.